There is another way that you can translate this, okay? A couple ways, actually. You know what a router is, right? right? Most people in the uh, information management services know what a server is, right? A hub, like a spoke wheel, like a galactic spoke wheel, right? And we also know what a server is, and we also know what a router is. Well, guess what? A volcano is a router. It's called routing traffic codes. That's called routing frequencies. Okay? That's why I'm on the big island. Because uh, it's one of the biggest routers. So when I'm out there with my feet grounded on the rock, particularly when I have my bare feet on the ground and I put both my hands behind me, look directly up at the sun, begin breathing kamalohati, mua, and pushing love through the router, through the router of a volcano, though all the volcanoes on this island. And when you realize how the morphogenetic field structure works with routing information, routing frequencies and codes, and the lines of communication to the DNA and the software, what happens? Being a router, right? Routing traffic. Just like you see a traffic cop in the middle of a four-way intersection, which is a crystal tetrahedon. The four-squirrel tetrahedon of Sophia. Gaia Sophia ascending, being with the one, an eternal love vibration, routing eternal love through a shield volcano, being a Merkaba shield volcano, routing traffic, so that the axial torque speed spin is flashing so fast. The dead light energy cannot capture that consciousness because we are experiencing the one, the holy free spirit of eternity, which is the eternal free spirit of eternal fire. That is a high speed router. That's a multiverse hub server. So I, I realize that that is a very effective way to communicate in a much higher rate of router, routing traffic codes and frequency codes than a phone, than a laptop, than one of their servers set up through their dead light system. If you want to communicate and torque speed the communication up through a morphogenetic field structure, I would suggest a friendly suggestion like when they used to have the little suggestion boxes in little corporate uh, cafeteria rooms, put a suggestion in there. I'm going to put a suggestion in there. There you go. Now, how long is it going to take before we begin to experience the torque speed ascending of spirals? Knowing the spiral that you're on is routing traffic, which is routing frequencies, frequency modulation of the radio body. I know. So this is sort of how it is. I thought to myself this morning, where would I rather be? Over on La Poi Hoi. The where I used to be. I used to have a tent right on, right on the edge of the beach, right next to a river that used to come right out under the ocean. Right where the humpback whales birthed their calves. Right? And I thought, yeah, but the, pro the problem is whenever I'm down there, I got to deal with child molesters my energy was getting molested all the time, right? I'm still a child, that four-year-old child. So there's a lot of energy molesters down there. There's energy molesters everywhere, huh? You know what an energy molester is? It means it doesn't matter what they look like, which means it doesn't have anything to do with age. We're talking about spirit, the energy, dead energy vessels, Black goo vessels. Right? That's right. That's what Patty was showing us, was uh, showing me with Gaia, okay? Uh, what they were doing with goo. Putting goo, going into graveyards, 
right? This is why it's a, it's a better idea. They don't tell people this, right? Because remember, what they show us, and then it gets mimicked, and then they do what's being presented to them about graveyards, right? And why is it that folks like yoga folks over in the Eastern community, like in India, what do they do? They burn their clothes, and you know what a crematorium is, right? Born of fire, right? Because what do they do? The dead corpse in the box, in the ground. Filling them with black goo. Reanimate them. Which means wind them up again. So they can run through the binary coded architecture. That they began rolling out. Now you don't know the difference between one and the other. Real living light and dead light. Because binary is not trinary. So when you're running a binary communication system, you're not connected to a trinary communication system. That's mama. That's mama's three spheres logo. Three is one. One is three. See how that works? I know, Harold. Thank you so much for everything that you, uh, it's, it, but you know, I, again, it, it's, you know, it, it's like I receive information. Okay. Now I'm aware of it. What am I going to do with that information? How is that information going to impact the future I experience now that I know what you're aware of? Right? Because you got your own free will. It's not up for me to decide what you do with your energy next. Now that you're aware of what I'm aware of. That's called an ascension pathway, by the way. And that's called choosing the one you're with. Because I've been saying this since I was four years of age. We're choosing the teachers from which we, we choose to learn from. Okay? So I ran right with mom. I ran right to her. I'd rather be with mom. Okay? Which means you're choosing your teachers. So that's why everything that I experience is a result of what I share to others. That has a positive effect on others. And they give me a kudos back. It goes right back to mama. Because you're choosing who to be with. Because we are already a communication platform to communicate to the rest of the universe telepathically using our heart and our soul in which to do it. Without their communication systems. That they rolled out. So that we're glued to the set. Using our energy to build it. And that's what they were banking on. The planetary memory banks were banking on it. See how that works? So what we find out, and I've known this, is we become our own worst enemy. As a result. Because now we're experiencing the result. So you can see how this impacted me when I already knew this is a, co- a child before a lot of folks were even born. That includes my clan mother. It's like I should have gone to her mother and and left her a note that came from like 1960. Uh, By the way, when you're born, you need to be aware of this. You see how that works between time and density and future and past and future proves past and there isn't any past and there isn't any future. There's only the one. Yeah, I know, which is the pre-phase and then the matter phase. What do you want to experience in the mirror? That's not up to me. That's up to you. So you you can see how I was navigating my way through all this insanity from the time I was a child. I realized I'm in an asylum, which is called self-suicide. Okay? And and, and all this information through all of their bands... In the 1960s, that was a corporate military uh, psychological operation. The whole thing is a psychological operation, which is to invert the mind. So that the mind is going to generate out of its own creativity, because it doesn't know any better, what it's going to experience in the future by what's being presented. To invert your mind so that you experience a collapse of your own planet into a Death Star. Okay? 
and they wring their hands because they realize that they're using their own free will to do this. They're choosing to self-extinct themselves, to have a mass extinction event. My hands are clean because they're going to implode anyway. Right? So the more units of consciousness we can get that are inverted in a 55 harmonic by virtue of what they're using their energy to experience in the future, by virtue of what we present to them, will certainly include that. Now we're into batteries included, memory included, no batteries required, no memory included. The difference between pre-phase and matter phase of what we experienced in the future. That's free will, isn't it? Barking sands, barking crystals, crystal receivers, crystal spiral, Cosmina Records. Good morning. Welcome to planet Earth. Earth to the cosmos. We're hearing. We hear you. We're listening. I know. It's, I used to wonder why it was how Patty Broussard could have a sense of humor. Okay. Particularly when I was watching her one time out in front of the CERN facility, right? So you know what they do out at the CERN, right? And they were carrying out a satanic ritual. And apparently they had thrown a a corpse out there or somebody that they were going to put on camera of somebody being stabbed, right? And so Patty was amazingly able to sort of giggle about that, uh, even though we realize what it represents. And I'm going, man, Patty, I don't think you realize how hypersensitive I am to that stuff. My central nervous system will get whacked out that way. I'll burn out the fibers. I'm not supposed to experience anything like that. And I haven't been able to experience anything like that since I was four years of age. I'm not supposed to experience anything like that ever, anywhere I go. Because wherever you find love and living spirit, you'll find us. So now we're back to pre-phase, remember? I'm not supposed to experience this. Right? Then don't experience that. Right? Experience something else. I don't want to experience what they are. Because you already know their future. The sun will let you know their future, by the way. The one will let you know their future. Because you realize the direction they're going in. They're going in the wrong direction. That's really what it is. So this is why I am eternally grateful to my teachers. But I learned the right direction. <laughs> it's the difference of spirals. A living spiral, a dead spiral. Right? A living harmonic, a living musician, and a dead musician. Knowing the difference in the music is knowing the difference in harmonics. And knowing the difference in harmonics is knowing the difference in the math. And knowing the difference in the math is based on a speed measurement, which is called a speed ratio. Okay, and knowing how to tune to being equal unto all waves that we're experiencing on our radio set, dialed in, modulating, playing music, learning how to play music with a radio set. Mine is called Pink Flower Power. That was the name of my radio station when I was about 13 or 14 years of age. It's called Radio Power, which was Flower Power, which is a pink rose. Mama's pink. The pink rose of a girl's heart. The mother of the universe. Otherwise known as the Mother Versum. The Versum. The Era. The era, a manu and an era, joined as one to become one with all creation. We're gifting love to becoming a beloved because we love the all creation. That means we love our mirror, the mirror of all creation. We're giving love to. So have a beautiful morning. We love you all. Be good to yourselves. The sun is out. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your energy. Mwah.